ChatGPT is a very powerful AI tool, but can it help you build a website? Let's find out in this video. Let's visit the ChatGPT page. To use this AI model, you need to create an OpenAI account. Click Try ChatGPT and sign up with your Google or Microsoft account, or create a new account by entering your email address. Once you complete the onboarding process, you can start using ChatGPT by writing a question or prompt in the chat box. For example, I'll ask ChatGPT if it can help me build a website. Even if you use the same prompt as mine, you may get a slightly different answer. You can give the chatbot different questions and prompts to test its capabilities. Now, let's continue with the website building process. First, we can ask ChatGPT to create a website outline. The more specific the prompt, the better the response. You can include the website's purpose and how many pages you want to have. We can use this outline to make a basic site map or as a guideline during the customization process. The next step is choosing and customizing a WordPress theme. If you're unsure which theme to use, you can ask ChatGPT for recommendations based on your preferences. To install a theme, Go to the WordPress Admin Dashboard, click on Appearance, then Themes. Click Add New at the top of the page and search for the theme you want to install. Once you find it, hit Install and Activate. Now I will show you an example using the 2023 theme and how to customize it based on ChatGPT's recommendations. I'm asking ChatGPT for website design recommendations, particularly for color schemes, typography, and layout options. We can use these suggestions to customize a WordPress theme. To do that, go back to the theme page in your WordPress admin dashboard. Click the Customize button under the theme you want to use. Here, you can adjust various elements of your WordPress theme. Let's change the color scheme and font by clicking the Styles button. This opens a side panel with several customization options. You can choose a pre-made template by clicking Browse Style or manually adjust each design element. To change the color palette, click Colors and select the palette for each element. For font adjustments, click Typography and select the page element you want to change. You can modify the font type, size, style and line height. If you're unsure about any changes, reset to defaults. With that, we have customized our WordPress theme based on ChatGPT's suggestions. Mix and match the AI's recommendations with your own preferences for the best results. Next, let's ask ChatGPT to generate text for the hero message, website tagline, and call to action button. I will use the given result to customize my homepage. To make this process quicker, go back to the site editor to apply ChatGPT's recommendations. At the top center of the page, you can see which template you are editing. If you want to change it, browse all templates to see the available options. Since I want to customize the front page, I will select Home. Enabling the list view makes it easier to identify each block's position in the page hierarchy. Because this home template already has a header block, I will replace it with the hero message generated by ChatGPT. You can adjust the message to fit the page layout better. Additional customization options are available by clicking the gear button on the top right. I am adjusting the font size, text appearance and margin to make the message fit better. Next, let's add a call to action button to the home page. The easiest way to do this is by adding a new block. Search for the call to action block and place it in the desired section. Once the button is in place, I will modify the text based on ChatGPT's suggestion. However, the current design does not stand out enough. I will ask ChatGPT for call to action button design tips. ChatGPT recommends using contrasting colors to make the button more visible. I will apply this advice by changing the button's background to green and the text to black. Now that we have customized the home page, we need to create other pages for the website based on ChatGPT's outline. For example, let's build the About Us page. Go to Pages, then click Add New. I will ask ChatGPT to generate text for the About Us page. Once the response is ready, we can copy and paste it into our new page. If necessary, you can edit the content. To make the page more engaging, let's add an image. 
Click the plus button to add a new block, then search for the image block. Upload a new image or select one from the media library. Adjust the image's alignment and size as needed. Once all pages and content are ready, it's important to test the website before launching. This includes checking usability, security and mobile responsiveness. If you want to learn more about website testing, use the link in the description. You can use it to create blog posts, product descriptions and landing page copy. AI tools like ChatGPT are still evolving, so it's important to use them effectively. Here are some tips. Use clear and concise prompts, check for grammar and spelling, provide context where necessary, and avoid overly broad questions. If ChatGPT's response isn't what you expected, adjust your prompt or provide feedback to improve results over time. If you're looking for a reliable hosting provider to build your WordPress website, consider Bluehost. Bluehost offers a variety of hosting plans tailored to different needs, including shared hosting, VPS hosting, and dedicated hosting. Their services include features like free SSL certificates, 24 7 customer support, and one-click WordPress installations. Additionally, Bluehost provides a free domain name for the first year and offers a 30-day money-back guarantee. To learn more about Bluehost's offerings and to get started with your website, check out the link in the description below.